G'day everyone, Footy902 here, and uh, welcome you to another Footy Stars opening. Alright, so on the last video I said I was getting some, uh, some boxes and they finally arrived. So today we'll be opening up the uh, Footy Stars, uh, this is just the uh, base set card, so yeah, obviously the, uh, the um, folder in the back as well, so hopefully I'll be able to fill up my, uh, my um, base set card folder today as well. So let's get into it. Now, 36 packs. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer video than um, I normally do, but that's fine, because I've been looking forward to this all week. Now let's open her up. Get open. <laughs> all right, remove that. I'm not really care about the box. I want the, what's inside, so. There we go, beautiful. Lots and lots of packs, so let's get into it. 24 for 99 for the album, obviously. If you haven't got one, grab yourself one. All right, let's get into it now. First pack, see if we can get some first pack magic. And we do actually have some first pack magic right off the bat. Good enough cells. There we go. And also, 100 game milestone, Brad Crouch. But that's not what we want. We want these ones. Fractal blue. Wow. And I can actually say what everyone's saying. Like you, the uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. Like the um, seeing him in person really, really makes him really pop. So that is a nice hit straight off the bat and I shall chuck that in top loader as well so there we go right off the bat <laughs> with the, the box hit all right gonna have a huge pile of um base cards by the end of this but that's fine I've had plenty of time to uh, sort through them later. All right. Here we go. We got Jeremy Cameron. Just going to put these over the side, out of the way. Not bad. So. Do enjoy these. Don't know if I like the uh, the sunset one or the purple parallel. Undecided. Just sleeving them up, just to save them, in case I drop them, because I am known to drop things. All right, next one. Got Dom Shade, his Dom is good. I love some Dom Shade. Obviously, as you can see, West Coast fan. So we'll be after those West Coast hits. And just got word last night for you West Coast fans or oh talking about West Coast fans, there we go. The uh, Jeremy McGovern 150 milestone. Uh, as I was saying, the um last night uh, Jack Darling apparently has got himself um his vaccine, so he will be um Coming back to the team soon, so good news for West Coast. There we go. Oh, geez, went straight past it. And there we go. We got our classified, and it's classified number 32. Not to uh, distract from Harris Andrews, but um, classified number 32. Rory Laird. And that's something I should have checked on the other one actual numbers, so. This one is number 53 of 270. So I'll chuck that in a, a sleeve. And a top loader. And we shall check the Jaden Stevenson number. So 109 for Jaden Stevenson. There we go. And obviously, we did have a in use in the uh, purple parallel. All right. So we've got 
couple of big hits within the uh, the first uh, three or four packs, which is nice. And there we go. We got Josh Battle, yeah, the uh, paint burst. Had to think of a quick saying there. I was like, what one's called? It's called a burst. The paint burst. Keep them going. There we go. Go ourselves the Game Breakers Ford 50. This one is the Mitch Georgiades. Could be a, uh, a good year for power this year, I think. Traded well. Young players is finally hitting their um their straps. A couple of years of um not making the grand final, but I think this year they might make the big one. There we go. We got Hugh Greenwood in his um, son's gear, which he um, no longer plays for. Obviously, he traded to North Melbourne or stolen by North Melbourne. However, <laughs> you want to look at it. There we go, Dusty. There we go. Damn Butler. Do love these. Anything shiny just catches the eye. Just like a was it a magpie? Collect everything shiny. But that's why we open these boxes. We want this shiny stuff. <laughs> there we go. Got ourselves another burst. The paint burst this time. It's the Joe Danaher. As um. Oh, my uh, pile collapses to the side here. Just move that out of the way. Now, these packs are really easy to open. The, uh, the packs I opened the other day in the um, the starter packs, they um, they were very sticky and hard to open. As we grab ourselves the Tim Membry Game Breaker. Uh, open nice and easy. As we get the uh, aforenamed person we were talking about, Jack Darling. Be interesting to see if he plays in round one. Apparently he's been keeping up with his fitness away from the uh, squad, but you know, running laps by yourself is a completely different monster compared to actual training with your, your teammates and such. So, probably be like round two or three before he actually plays a game. So, as we get 200 game milestone. That really nice and pops the, uh, the gold. Cam Guthrie. Uh, still no 30th yet. Keeping an eye out just in case they're hiding behind one of the other ones. That's one other thing I was gonna say. It just pointed that you're not guaranteed two chase cards in these packs now, as um an airplane flies overhead. Yeah, obviously last year you were guaranteed to get two. This year not so much, so this time we got the Will Day purple parallel. And uh, same goes for the uh, the jumbos as well, the jumbo packs. Not guaranteed two cards in that, which is a bit, a bit weird. It should be at least guaranteed two to four chase cards in a jumbo, at least two to three in in these. That'd be really nice, but it's not how it goes. As we grab the top Goldstein, new purple parallel. Grabbing lots of uh, purple parallels at the moment. Obviously, it started off with a couple of nice big hits. Slowed down a little bit. That's how it goes. As we grab the Brownlow medalist for last year, Mr. Ollie Wines. Looking nice and square there, isn't he? <laughs> How's he going to go this year? Now that he's uh, won the Brownlow. 
I think uh, people pay a bit more attention, as they usually do, once someone wins a Brownlow. They get a lot more attention from the uh, opposition team, so. Oh, there we go. First 30th, we've got a Darcy, Darcy Moore. I'm trying to get the uh, 30, hard to see in the light, but it's there. And um, yeah, that's the only one from that pack. The 30th, so. Nice. Jack Rewell. How many goals will he kick this year? Oh, we have a numbers. We have a numbers. And I think it's just the numbers. So, what numbers is it going to be? It's number 50. Who has 50? <laughs> Can you guess before I open it? There we go. Got a Richmond numbers. This one, Marlon Pickett, Mr. First Gamer. And ho, oh, that's a very, very low number. There we go. Number two of 190. So, chuck that in one of these. And that. Get in there. There we go. And number two. Extremely low. All right. So, we've gotten three big hits so far. I think, um, not guaranteed, but I think... Did you see that? Spectrum Redemption. Wow. So we'll put this just to the bottom for a sec. Just want to have a look. <laughs> See if there's a, um, there you go. Spectrum Redemption. One in 54 pack. Sorry. 54, 100, 216 packs. 216 packs. Whew. So we've got Josh Dacos behind that one. But this one, what's it going to be? There we go. Got a Richmond Spectrum. Not the team I'd want. But it's a it's a redemption nonetheless, and they just having a look right up close. Look, very nice. So we'll find out who the um, the redemptions are. I think, and we've got number twenty, so a fairly low one as well. So um, just trying to see if there's a a date. Can't see, there you go, right down the bottom. May 2nd, so once people start sending them in, be able to find out what actually number one is. So, there we go. Hitting the big hit. So, back-to-back -back Richmond hits. If you're a Richmond fan, hope you're enjoying uh, this opening, because, um, yeah, got some... Big hits for you. <laughs> All right, as we keep going. Keep going. There we go. All right, Let's double check. 30s. All right, so we got Mr. There we go, Nick Cox. In the paint burst. Got excited. Gotta love, gotta love big pulls. As we grab ourselves another paint burst back to back. This time is the Will Day from Hawthorne. I think we're probably about halfway through. We might have already pulled all the big hits from the box. I'm not sure. But um, here we go as we pull Harry Perryman in the uh, second uh, 30th. I think you're guaranteed. Well, like I said, not the. I don't think you're guaranteed, but there's the uh, at least three per box. So that's our second thirtieth. All right. So we go into another paint burst. This time the uh, Isaac Quainar from Collingwood. 
There's my um, pile of commons falls over in the background. <laughs> and it is a pile. Tim Kelly, hopefully has a good season this year for us. Now I've seen this card a lot of times. Is that not the worst ball drop you have ever seen? And onto the boot. And of course it's a Ruckman. Uh, <laughs> talking about Ruckman that can actually kick pretty well. Well, debatable, but yeah. Max Gorn, the captain of the Melbourne Demons. Now he can kick a, he can kick a long goal. Doesn't always mean it's straight, but a little bit better than uh, Riley O'Brien. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. As we got ourselves an insta win. And I think that's it, yeah. All right, so open that up when the, uh, the time comes for that. See if we can win ourselves something. Still don't know what you can win yet, but we'll find that out. Get ourselves another Tom Liberty. Yeah, you've got the, uh, the um, tattoos on there. That's a nice little touch. <laughs> Got the tattoos on his uh, on his arm. All right, so down to the last third or so of the uh, the packs. Let's get ourselves a Zach Butters. The Butters. Uh, will he have a huge this huge year this year? Or was he injury riddled last year? Let's hope he has a big year because um, if Port are going to win it, they're going to need. Him to uh, fire. All right, keeping, keeping on. Oh, there we go. We've got our our third thirtieth. This time a North Melbourne and the women's team, Emma Kearney. And we got another R Richmond one. This time Jack Rewalt. So a um very Richmond heavy opening today. I guess you could say. Keep going. There we go. Got Charlie Cameron. Ah, uh, for Brisbane to win, they're going to need him to fire as well. He uh, went missing a few times uh, last year, so he's going to need to be on top of his game again this year and probably kick 50, 60 goals as we grab him again <laughs> in the base time. Here we go, Mr. Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody in the purple parallel. Hopefully he comes back soon because he is an excite excitement machine. And um, I'll say about all our um, Aboriginal players, they are just a cut above. You just don't know what they're going to do and that's what makes it exciting. And when they pull it off, <laughs> it's ridiculous. As we go into the Suns, this time it is a Josh Corbett. Game breaker. All right, chuck that down. I think we're down to the last. One. What have we got? Five packs left. So, shut that box out the way. Last five packs. We've already got four big hits, as you can see down there. Can we grab one more? Or have we used our luck already? <laughs> as we grab ourselves the uh, Tom Papley. Milestone game, 100. Yeah, bronze. Obviously, uh, talk about Buddy. Five, I think it's five away from his 1,000. I reckon he'll get it in the set. But before, I reckon he'll get it in the second game. If he gets four goals, he'll probably stop or they'll pull him off. <laughs> and then, yeah, kick his uh, fifth goal, or his 1,000th 1, goal, should I say. At Sydney in his home ground, round two. As we grab Aaron Phillips from the Adelaide Crows, a purple parallel. Okie doke. It'll be interesting to see. There hasn't been a, a thousand, well, hasn't been a hundred goal season in, since probably Buddy. So, it hasn't been a thousandth for God knows how long. Will everyone run onto the pitch? 
will they allow everyone to run onto the pitch? It'll be a, be a game I'll be watching because um, it'll be an exciting moment in footy as we go into another 100 game milestone. This time the Jonathan Segler. Couldn't get his name out. Segler from Hawthorne. Alright. Last two packs. Two packs to go. Bit of a longer video. I oh, know. Thanks if you've uh, stuck around to the end. Oh, that one got stuck. Let's see if we can pull some something cool in the last couple of cards. Well, we've got a Stephen Cornelio. Purple parallel. This penultimate pack, as you say. And let's see what we can pull in this last pack of this box, which has been a pretty pretty decent box, I'll say that. Yeah, not complaining one bit. Nice cards there. Obviously, you're not gonna probably not gonna keep these ones. Um, probably trade them or sell them for some West Coast cards because yeah, that's my team and not really up for trading other ones. So, as we go into the last one, we got ourselves a Sam Wiedemann, who missed out on the granny from Melbourne, so, unfortunate, but there we go, so, recap, recap of what we got. Start with the 330s, got obviously Harry Perryman, Darcy Moore, do we get three, oh, we gotta get two, huh. I'm gonna to have to go through the uh, the pack now. I thought we had the third one. I swear we had the third one. That's all right. I'll probably put it somewhere else. Got ourselves the Game Breakers. Nice. The Milestones. 100 games, 100 games, Papley, 200 games, Cam Guthrie, 150, McGovern, and 100 games, Brad Crouch. On to the Paint Bursts. Sam Weedman, oh, just want to find a place to put them on the ground. Jack Rewalt, Tom Liberatore, Isaac Quayna, Will Day. Nick Cox, Ollie Wines, Joe Danaher, and Josh Battle. And all the purple parallels that we got. Stephen Caninio, Lauren Phillips, Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody, Zach Butters, Max Gorn, Josh Dacos, Todd Goldstein, Will Day, Sam Butler, Hugh Greenwood, Harris Andrews, and Jeremy Cameron. Not bad, but the uh, the big hits of this box is what you came for, the big ones, in order of pulling them as well. I think it was like the second or third pack, this one. Jaden Stevenson. 109. Got ourselves Rory Laird, the, uh, the numbers. Sorry, not the numbers, the classified. <laughs> Get it right. Number 53. Now the numbers. Marlon Pickett. Number two. So really nice and low number. And also Spectrum Redemption. Number one. And that one is number 20 as well. So nice cards. There we go. Well, that was the, uh, the box opening. That was my first box opening. Hope you liked it. Um, I enjoyed it, got some nice cards, so um, that's always good, but um, yeah, besides that, hope you enjoyed, give it a like if you did, and um, I will leave you there, and enjoy the rest of the day, cheers!